Hey guys, it's Robin, your independent Scentsy consultant. Today I am coming back with my what I've been warming this week video. So we're switching things up this week. Um, yesterday, instead of this video, I put up my holiday haul video. And so today is Thursday and we are doing my what I've been warming this week video. So this was filmed Tuesday as usual. It's just coming up on Thursday. So happy Thursday in the future. <laughs> Um, okay, so I did manage to warm each of the five new bars. And I do have my normal melting basket for the week as well. So I'll save the bar, the, sorry, the five new bricks. I'll save the five bricks until the end and give you warm reviews. And spoiler alert, they're all good, but they all changed a lot on warm. Um, I have thoughts. <laughs> I'll let you know in the second half of the video. Um, in the meantime, here is the kind of um, review of what I've warmed in my house this week. So in my daughter's room, we have two cubes of Berry Blessed. And this one is like sugared berries. I wanna say cranberry, raspberry, I'll put the notes below. It is a medium to strong performer. Um, very tart, juicy berry. Fairly single note, not overly complex. It's a nice scent. Pretty berry scent would be good to mix I think with like orange maybe um, but it very pretty on its own as well um, duration so far so good it's on day two now won't be changing it today so we're enjoying that one in our bedroom I did two cubes of down the aisle from the moment by moment collection um, and this one is pear peony blossom and I want to say like water lily or some kind of like watery type note and it's gorgeous like it is a really really pretty scent it's kind of a sweet like sweet clean floral not heady in any way just very pretty um on warm it's on the light side i would say in our bedroom it was like a light maybe light medium um lasted about day and a half not overly long lasting very pretty while it was warming more of that floral came through though um, definitely more of a floral on warm and less of that clean sweet note really pretty it's in my club right now it's probably not gonna stay there it's pretty it's just not that good so that is down the aisle um, overall very pretty glad I have another bar though it'll be beautiful I think in springtime especially then I did one cube of true love awaits in my daughter's room and this like is like a perfect little girl's room scent. I'm so glad to have it in the general catalog now. This one is like raspberries, vanilla. It's like a sweet creamy berry with like a little bit of citrus as well. Like orange maybe. But it's just a really well blended scent. Very sweet and kind of feminine little girlish. I love it. It's a good performer as well. This one lasted like three or four days in her room. Just the one cube so... That was really good. Then we did Polar Bear Hug. So we did two cubes of this in her room. This also lasted forever. So this lasted the rest of the week. So Polar Bear Hug, formerly Eskimo Kiss. They've renamed it. This one's so pretty. And it seems like it would be a light, maybe a medium on cold. And it's not an overly strong scent, but it lasts forever. So if you like those scents that are kind of like medium intensity, but really, really like last a long time, Polar Bear Hug's a good one. And the notes on this one are like, I feel like there's like blackberry, brown sugar, vanilla, or maybe caramel or something. It's got strange sounding notes for what it actually smells like. So to me, this is like a clean, fresh scent, but sweet and kind of cuddly and cozy. So I wouldn't pick out berry or caramel at all, but they are lending that sweetness and that kind of brightness to it and coziness. This is a really, it kind of is like, you know how cozy cardigan is like the grown up, like cozy feminine scent? This is like the little kid version of that. So our cozy cardigan is like amber and suede and like very like feminine grown up. This one is like little kid cozy. It's a good one. Perfect for a kid's room, lasts a really long time. We'll repurchase this one when we run out. 
Then I did two cubes of ghostly greetings in my bedroom with this like bar that was made by another consultant. And on cold, kind of smells like grass and like herbs. It's very dark. It's got a little bit of fruitiness to it. But on warm, this one really like bloomed. It was like red wine and like incense and like earthy herbs and maybe like sage or something like that. It was pretty. I like Ghostly Greetings. I do have another bar. I really enjoyed it. Would I warm this year round? Probably not. It's probably definitely like an October scent for me. Um, but I really enjoyed it in the bedroom. Really pretty. Would I want my whole house to smell like it? Maybe. It's not a bad scent. I quite like it. Pink Sugarberry Mint. This one is like Aqualina Pink Sugar, um, raspberries, and like just like the teeniest, tiniest, like whisper of mint. It's so pretty and strong. This one is a strong performer and very long lasting. Powerhouse bar. Um, I did one cube of this in each bathroom and it lasted, is this all I did in the bathrooms? Let's see. This was all I did in the bathrooms. This lasted all week. So that was fantastic. And I could still smell this in the one bathroom last night. So I changed it just now before I sat down to film this, but these lasted like the full week in the bathroom. So that was fabulous. And that was going 24 hours a day. So I could not believe I could still smell that. Amazing. Then in the open layout, I did six cubes in three warmers of walnut raisin muffin. And this one is really, really nice. It's such a nice scent on cold. It's cozy and fallish without being overly spicy, but there is just a bit of cinnamon and warmth. And there's like a nice juicy raisin, like a dark raisin. I don't know if I get walnut, but it's like a nice like raisiny spiced muffin. It's awesome. I couldn't smell it that great. It was very light in my open layout, even with six cubes. Um, and it was less than eight hours. It was maybe a six to seven hour performance. And then it was like completely done. So I would not recommend this for an open layout. Keep it to a smaller medium space. In my house, that means just bedrooms. And I don't know that I want my bedroom to smell like this. Maybe I will just to get the rest, the last two bars used. But as much as it hurts me for that reason, I would not repurchase this, but it was a delicious smelling scent. Just the performance wasn't quite there for me, but I really enjoy this. Um, if you have melted this before, how did you find it for performance? Because I had high hopes and I love the scent, but it was just so short. And I can deal with a one dayer, but six cubes um, is a lot for the space that I warm in. Usually four does it. So six was a lot. And then for it to be that short and that light, it just wasn't a great fit for my house. But your mileage may vary. Then I did Around the Campfire. I had been meaning to get to this one and I was a little bit scared of it because it is so smoky. It is very campfire-y. Um, it does smell like when you come inside from like a bonfire or camping and your clothes have like wood smoke on them. It's nice. And so I warmed it in this room because this room that I'm in right now is the office. The door generally stays shut. It doesn't have a lot of airflow. so. If I hated it, it was going to be a safe testing space because it wouldn't make my whole house smell like it. Um, that being said, it was fairly strong and I left the door open for the days when it was going and it did kind of waft out of the room a bit. So the performance was strong enough, um, long, long lasting. Um, this went in all week and while it wasn't strong all week, I could still smell it last night when I changed it. So. That tells you it was a, a doozy of a performer. Um, I will say on warm, it became less scary. Um, after maybe four or five hours, that wood smoke note died down and it was more just like a caramelized, sweet, cozy fire scent. Um, kind of along the line of like fireside um, without being smoke. So it did end up being quite nice in the end. I think this would be really nice for mixing with bakery scents. Um, scary good I want to try this with. 
yeah so I will try this in my open layout next with scary good but I would probably do a two to one ratio with less of around the campfire so two scary good to one around the campfire because this is very strong so if you have a bar it's not as scary as you might think it is smelling it on cold um, but it's very strong and I would start small and see how you how you like it before you make your entire house smell like it but yeah I ended up liking it pretty well and I don't know that I'll ever purchase another bar this year but if it comes back next year I probably would and the last one I did this week aside from the bricks was in my bedroom two cubes of vanilla mint and this one is vanilla bint and I think like citrus it's pretty it's like a clean cool scent and it's like a slightly like perfumey peppermint um it kind of smells like a grandma's purse in like the best way possible or like a peppermint that you got out of like your mom's or your grandma's purse and it's got like remnants of their perfume and like dust and like whatever else was in the bottom of that purse it's good and I mean that like honestly in like a great way so I love this one it was pretty it lasted a decent amount of time I'm gonna say two or three days like it was good good performance good strength I liked the performance I liked the scent I will enjoy this and probably repurchase vanilla mint okay now on to warm reviews of the bricks so the first one on my stack here is fluffy fleece now on cold sniff this had been my favorite of the five so this one is I'll put the notes below but I want to say it's like heliotrope and like clean air and like cotton and I can get that but for me this scent has become like an optical illusion of the nose so you know like a few years ago there was that black and blue versus gold and white dress or like the laurel yanny thing um this is that in scent form so I can smell a sweet cozy clean cotton but then my brain shifts it to dill pickle chips literally dill pickle chips and I can smell both like it just switches now clean cotton now dill pickle chips like it just goes in between and I will say I did not get that until I warmed it so on warm is when I started smelling pickle chips and I had this going in the bedroom half a cube and was great so far so good for the first few hours pretty doing well good strength and then I left came back in and my husband was in there and I was like what are you eating and he was like nothing but I really want chips and I was like dill pickle ones and he was like yeah I'm like this smells like dill pickle chips <laughs> and it does especially on warm I got dill pickle chips and again I can switch it like I can smell what it's supposed to smell like but then my brain just twists it to dill pickle chips so my husband has renamed this one from fluffy fleece to dilly pickle so I have a lot of this to warm through for it being dilly pickle um let me know if you get that undertone I might be crazy <laughs> but like yeah I don't get it right this second but a second ago I did so it depends on the moment that I smell it but I will warm this again and see um I want I want to try this in my open layout to see if a bigger space takes down the pickle note so I'll let you know but that one did a 180 for me so that's fluffy fleece or dilly pickle the first one I warmed was vanilla cinnamon maple and I did a cube a cube in my open layout so half a cube in four warmers and this one's good like on cold it smells like salted caramel I think it's like sweet cream cinnamon and like maple I think it smells like salted caramel and on warm it kind of stayed pretty similar it was like a creamy cozy salted caramel type scent amazing loved it not overly long lasting but not a complete like dud either I would say it was a one dare but it was fine kind of similar to salted caramel toffee in that not in scent so much but in that it's reasonably strong until it's not 
So it putters along pretty good and then it just kind of ends. So it doesn't gradually taper. So it does kind of just kind of die at the end, which is fine. You know when to change the wax then. But I really enjoyed this. I will use it. I'm glad to have it. And it's a good open layout scent. Also good for smaller spaces. If you have really high ceilings or a very large open layout, I may be cautious with this one or use more. Um, it's not a strong, strong scent. I would say it's like a solid medium. So there's that one. Then we have Pink Poinsettia. This one is like the fruity one of the bunch. And it is, I want to say like black raspberry, pomegranate and plums, sugar plums. And it's like a nice like berry scent. My husband, when he opened it, he was like, this is a scent like we've smelled ones like this before. And we have, and it's good. It's not overly unique, but it's good. It kind of smells like fruit punch a little bit. It smells like a, like a fruit punch at a Christmas party that I want to drink. It's good. So on warm, it was pretty much the same. It was a nice fruity scent on warm, medium throw, not overly long lasting. This one was probably shorter than vanilla cinnamon maple. Um, I would say definitely a one dayer, maybe 10 hours. So pink poinsettia, again, glad to have it, really nice. Good for all year round, I think. And it did not change much on warm. Um, and performance wise, it was about average, just all around average, maybe tending towards short duration, but average throw. So pink poinsettia. And that was in my open layout. And I did two cubes of that one. So I did half a cube in four warmers for two cubes. So that was a lot of wax for it to only last about 10 hours, I will say. But great scent, didn't do too bad. Then we did spiced eggnog. I warmed this one last and I did it yesterday because I don't know why, I just wasn't in an eggnog mood because it was Thanksgiving and I didn't really feel like eggnog. <laughs> And it's very heavy. It's a very heavy, rich scent that I feel like you'd have to be in the mood for. That being said, on warm, this was like better than I expected. It was one of my favorites. My second favorite. It was my second favorite. So on cold, it's like a very rich, sweet, buttered rum eggnog scent. On warm, it was very creamy and it like came together better. It was like well-rounded and like sweet and creamy without being so cloyingly sweet because in here it's like concentrated cloying sweetness but in a large space it like spreads out and it's just very inviting and cozy and sweet and creamy and it was beautiful loved it excited to melt the rest and excited to play with mixing this as well so i also did two cubes of this in four warmers half a cube each and it was strong i would say strong performance and lasted a good amount of time like day and a half at least, like 36 hours. So pretty good performance. No complaints here. I would say this was the first or second best performing of the bunch. So if you're looking for a strong performer, this one and the next one. Sweet Orange Palmander. I wasn't sure about this one on Cold Sniff. It was okay, but it was very spicy and clovey. And I wasn't so sure I would like it very much. And on cold, it's still very clovey and very spicy. But on warm, it's so good. I did this for Thanksgiving. So Friday and Saturday. Friday and Saturday? Maybe just Saturday? I did it on the weekend. During Thanksgiving prep. And on warm, I did two cubes, half in each warmer. And on warm, it just really like was cozy. Like it smelled like Christmas when you're a kid. And like my mom used to do this thing where she'd put like orange peels in a pot, I guess with water maybe, and like cinnamon, cloves, allspice, nutmeg, whatever else. And she would just like simmer that on the stove as like a simmer pot and it would make the house smell like this. It was like a spicy orange peel kind of scent. So that is like a very, very like comforting Christmas thing for me. And this smells like that. So yeah, I like this a lot. And I will say the orange came out more on warm. In the bar, I don't really smell a lot of orange. It did come out more on warm. And I will say towards the end of the warm, I got less clove and more like red hot cinnamon. 
I don't really smell red hot cinnamon too much on cold, but it it was pretty well balanced throughout. But the last like few hours of the warm, it was like much more of the red hot cinnamon with the orange. So overall, I loved it. I'm gonna warm the heck out of this over Christmas time and winter. Loved it. This ended up being my favorite, even though it was my least favorite <laughs> going in. So my least favorite went to my most favorite and my most favorite went to my least favorite. So Fluffy Fleece fell from first to fifth, Palmander went from fifth to first, and Spiced Eggnog is now my second place. And then these two are kind of in the middle. I couldn't tell you which one of these is better. They're both really good. They're really different from each other. So for performance, Spiced Orange Palmander was the longest lasting and strongest, followed by Spiced Eggnog or sorry, Sweet Orange Palmander, then Spiced Eggnog. Then I'm gonna have to give it to Vanilla Cinnamon Maple, and then Pink Poinsettia, because it was reasonably strong, but it didn't last all that long. And I'm gonna withhold a strength rating from Fluffy Fleece, because to be fair, I only melted it for four or five hours. So I do not know how long it lasted because we couldn't stand our bedroom smelling like dill pickle chips. <laughs> and I had to take it out. I had to do it. Couldn't do it. Yeah, I'm getting dill pickle chips again. Like, I don't know. And like, I don't know what note that is because like, I love heliotrope. Heliotrope is like one of my favorite flowers. I have it in my garden in the summer. I love the way it smells. I keep it like right near where we sit because it smells so pretty. This ain't it. I don't know what this is. I honestly don't know what note I'm reading as dill pickles, but I'm reading something as dill pickles. I don't know. And like, I, I gotta retry it because it was so pretty. When I don't get dill pickles, it's so pretty. So I'm gonna try it in a bigger space. We'll see, we're gonna try to make it work. It's gonna happen. Okay. That's what I've warmed this week. It was a lot. Got through the bars. And overall, pretty impressed with the bars, um, with the one humorous exception. Um, but yeah, which bars are you most excited about? Have you warmed any yet? And if so, which one is your favorite? Were there any surprises? Did you do like a switcheroo like I did? Um, let me know below. And thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.